Hi, my name is Aaron Johnson, and this is my presentation for case study number one, the OKCupid case study. So the agenda is I'm going to talk a little bit about my approach, the uh, EDA, the insights I gleaned, and uh, a little bit about the uh, data cleansing that I did. So I imported the OKCupid uh, data and uh, did a good amount of cleaning to uh, eliminate the missing variables uh, in, in terms of um, the answers that users provided. And I went from a broad to narrow perspective. And uh, I looked at the uh, data set to evaluate what are, you know, what are some demographics that would be a great idea for us to focus on moving forward. A major uh, trend that I gleaned from the data is that the mean age of, of all OkCupid users is uh, 32 or so. So the users trend young, younger. So maybe a great idea in the future to advertise toward people in their 40s and 50s, especially as the millennial demographic ages. And as you can see on the top chart, it's it looks like uh, the women tend to trend a little bit younger, I would say, uh, compared to the male population. But interestingly enough, overall, there are far more men on the site than there are women. So it's also a excellent idea to advertise more to women to encourage them to join the site, you know, meet some, uh, you know, men or women, whatever they're interested in, and have a a lot less of a skew in terms of a potential dating pool on the website. And in terms of insights I gleaned from the missing data, I noticed that a lot of users tend to shy away from really uh, difficult information, such as, you know, if they have offspring, if, uh, you know, the kind of diet that they have, as well as religion. It maybe a possibility that there is a slight taboo against members that do have offspring or it may also be uh, the fact that the user base trends younger so we have a lot of people that are college age a lot of people that may not necessarily have kids at home but it's a great idea to encourage users to input this information truthfully and accurately so you know people they go on successful dates uh the, you know they these turn into long-term relationships and they turn into success stories that'll encourage more users to join the site. I also did a little bit of a analysis on gender versus sexual orientation on the site. Uh, there's a large demographic of gay males. It's actually much larger than the gay demographic in the, in the female population. So this reflects a trend of, uh, you know, gay men being very attracted to the site. So uh, I think it'd be a great idea to advertise for the LGBTQIA community, you know, get uh, build up that rapport with them, you know, encourage them to join the site, make sure that everyone feels like this is an inclusive space to meet other people. And, you know, it, it just makes everyone a lot more happy with the site. It makes people more likely to join for a paying membership and it makes for a much more inclusive space Inclu inclusivity is very much in right now so the main takeaways are that women and the lgbtqia populations are probably the best growth strategy for long-term growth definitely targeting you know urban the urban demographic people that are you know very forward thinking people that are very uh, ahead of trends and with that i believe that you know as a millennial population ages it may be a great idea to ensure that older populations find some uh you know find a lot of success in the site you know there's a you know having a good overall population across the age ranges uh, is, is a great way to connect people across generations, you know, across uh, wealth and everything. It's, it's a great way to bring people together and encouraging users to be more forthcoming in their responses, encouraging them to 
not shy away from these answers is a great way to ensure that people connect and they stay connected, that they're strong matches and they feel that at whatever stage in life they're at, the person that they're talking to on the other end isn't, you know, misleading them or catfishing them. They get a full picture of, you know, what they're buying into essentially when they connect with someone on OkCupid. And that is my presentation. Thank you.